Hey, what is going on, ladies and gentlemen? My name is NCBs, and welcome back to another video. In today's one, we're going to be playing the Terminus. We're going to be playing with a Decimation Legend, and this is my Decimation deck. So, hitting enemies with the Decimation heals me for 250. This gives me a lot of self sustainer Terminus, which is really, really useful. Uh, forsaken 50%, uh, 56% crowd control reduction. Because if you're getting crowd controlled, you can't queue. If you can't queue, you're going to die. We're going to go for a Juvenate here. And we'll talk more about the deck as we push in. And lastly, uh, most important, is the uh, reduction on the damage needed to get a Q, uh, get a Q store. Or a Q charge, sorry I should say. So we're going to head to the point here. They're flanking. I'm going to go behind them here. If I can jump up like this. Come here. Come here. See you later, my guy. We should get out of that because I cannot queue damage on the floor. And, however, should be able to swing through his queue. He has a heal here, and I'm taking damage here, so that's not good. Let's go get some point cap here. I think we have, like, round advantage, a little bit of point cap. Dambus half, I could push for that. I just don't think that's the play right now. Damn, the Grok is back. Ooh. Trying to protect my Damba here. Now we have a fight on our hands, eh? Oh, jeez. I'm going to need a heal here. Thank you very much, Damba. Don't you slam on me. Oh, this is not good. Just keep getting them little ticks of heals. I know it's not much, but over time it really does add up. We can push on here. Get a slam dunk on you, boy. Someone's behind us. Be sad for that. I'm actually going to push forward now. I hope your damage stays on point. He does. Very nice. A bit of damage onto him. Make sure he can't push in effectively. Oh, hit the wall there by accident. Oh. Oh. Get going! No! Come <laughs> on, you can keep shooting it, baby boy. I don't mind you shooting it. Now, one thing you have to know about Talus is sometimes the Talus gets too close, you actually have to aim your Q downwards. And the way that Talus' character model is, he's very small. And sometimes he does manage to actually get through your Q simply because of that fact. I'm going to have to go more towards the cart now. Since we're getting through the initial chokehold, and it's getting a little bit more line of sight for the enemies. What's going on? Turn back, insta burst him. Oh, that damper's low. Oh, thank you very much, Sefi. Beautiful save there. I'm going to push back in. Thank you very much for all that damage, buddy! So you can actually queue uh, an enemy Terminus's ultimate, which is really useful information. These are hard hits for me. The, the travel time of the queue makes them shots difficult on Android when he's so high up. But luckily we can just negate the damage with our Q instead anyway. So it's not really a big deal. Oh, okay. We're gonna, if we're going to die, we're going to try and die on top of the... Uh, I'm going to ult here anyway. He's done the same thing to us, but he's half HP. I'm going to turn him around so my teammates can get hits on him from behind, hopefully. Oh, go on guys, he's less than one. Finish it off. Finish it off. That's what I like to see. If you go to one side of the terminus while your teammates are on the other side, I like to call that sandwiching. Not as much as like the, the flank sandwich, but like as a cool, I would say sandwich the terminus. So let's imagine that Andro's the terminus here. If we do this, he can only queue from one side, obviously. So you're gonna get guaranteed damage from one side or the other, which is really nice for us as a terminus. Because most of the terminus's kit is just revolves around his queue. I really like this how this one looks. Like it's got this cool like little mantra thing through the middle. It's really nice uh, aesthetics on it. I'm really glad with this skin. As a tank main. 
Oh, let's have a little, let's have a little emo into spray, shall we? Oh, it's like he's screaming for a kiss. So neither me nor the enemy terminus has ultimate. However, he is closer to his than I am, and they have comeback mechanics. So I'm gonna try and play point a little bit more initially than I did last round. Oh, they're pushing straight in. Hopefully, in my team rotates well here. Try and save my Leanne. No, wasn't enough. Gonna come off the point here. I'm out of charge at the moment. I need to let this regen a little bit. Oh, that's not what we wanted. That's not what we wanted at all. Look at us. Oh, look at this gameplay. Oh my god. Mutu himself couldn't do it. Kidding. Love you, Mutu. No, hopefully Damba takes the point from me. Thank you very much, Damba. We'll leave Sephi to take the left side since he has longer range. And I'll take the right side since I'm a little bit more tanky. I'm also worried about the far left someone blanking from that side. But we got it. Yeet! Oh! See you later, buddy. I'm coming! Oh! If your reverse had lasted a little longer, I might have been able to get through and put a shield on him. I'm going to slow this guy so he can't chase my Sephi too much. My Sephi. My shot. <laughs> I bet he's my Sephi. If we get him to use Slither, that's really big for us. We can push in a little bit aggressively here. Just keep them zoned out. See how we had the, uh, we needed the CC there to survive just that little bit longer. But it gave us the time to get the queue up. If we didn't have the inherent CC in our deck, we wouldn't have been able to do that there. Body block here. He should be here. Unless he actually moved. That's a shame. He bugged out. He bugged out. See how his uh, model started moving? Sometimes they stay where they are. Sometimes they, uh... Dude, he got his ult straight back. He must have been credited for maybe the kill onto me or something. He had to have got a kill that had a high amount of um, a high amount of uh, kill streak on the enemy. For those of you that don't know, if you kill an enemy with a high kill streak, that um, inherently adds towards your ultimate charge. Mm, that's a shame. Char, uh, Andrew's lit there. Pick you up! Oh my god. Those heals from Dambo were so pog. That was amazing. A uh, good part now is we know that me and the enemy terminus are roughly about the same um, ultimate charge since we use our ults at the same time. We're gonna use that for the extra hit. Oh, hello. Drop Three, back down here. Two, one. I have my support now. That's a real shame. He's got no key left here. No. So close. So close, guys. And hopefully we'll get it on the next capture. Go on. Dash in. Dash in. Oh, that would have been amazing. I'm actually dashing and got the double kill with ult. For the capture that would have been so good oh let's go for this no problem no problem luna let's go for the emote into the raw kiss me let's go do it next to sefi no problem nah under the mistletoe sefi you know what that means uh, what are we going to go into next? I would normally go core rise, but I don't think it's going to be worth it at the moment. Simply because it's so late in the game, we should probably win after this round. I'm going to go for Haven here. Give me that little extra bit of sustain. I feel like I'm going to be closer to Vault than the enemy terminus is. 
He does have core, so and I do not. Oh, enemy time is far away. That's a lot of free cap for us. I don't think Terminus wants to play anymore. Again, we have really low amount of time on the CC. He's left the healing totem. I didn't get my... What? I didn't get to... Oh! Hello? Game? Didn't give... Whatever. Hopefully we can make it back in time. We have got Master Riding to, and we've still got four left on our team. We should be fine. I'm going to push aggressively here. Just not the Andrew, so he has less chance of touching. He can't touch now because he's used his dashes, unless somebody gives him a reset. Let's get back to the point. Go, emote. No! Failure! We didn't emote on the point. How could we, Mikhail? How could we? Good game, guys. I think the uh, enemy terminus gave up at the end there, though. That's unfortunate. Yeah, to see it. I saved the day. We would have pushed without that help. Well done, Tim. Check out some damage numbers and then we'll call it for today, my guys. Scoreboard 64,000 for us on Terminus. Enemy had 46, so about a 20k increase on damage. And we check out his deck as well. He was using Decimation as well. He gets Power Siphon easier than we do. Uh, so what did he lose out because of that? He lost out. Oh, he actually runs extra HP. So he has less sustain than I do, which I guess makes sense since he has Grok and Amber. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching this video. A little bit of like an informative video how I play Terminus. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like and don't forget to sub. And if there's any champions you would like me to play specifically that you want to see some deck guides for or just some informative gameplay, just let me know in the comment section below. See you later.